Today we're going to turn it over to R3 coordinator Kayla Bendel and she's going to show us how to pickle northern pike. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Thanks Mike. So yeah, North Dakota is home to a lot of great fishing opportunities for northern pike, which is the state fish. But sometimes people can be intimidated by keeping, cleaning, and cooking northern pike uh, because they do have that extra set of bones called the Y bones. The department does have a great video on how to remove them, but one of the advantages of making pickled pike is that the pickling process will dissolve the bones in smaller fish, so you don't have to worry about removing the bones beforehand. Today's recipe that we're going to go over is uh, basically modified from a famous wild game chef, Hank Shaw. So I did not make the recipe up. And now we're just going to walk through the steps of how to make pickled pike. The first step in making pickled pike is making sure that your fillets have been in the freezer for at least 48 hours. We are not going to cook the northern pike at any point during the process, so you need to make sure they've been frozen for that long in order to kill any bacteria. So these pike fillets were speared last season, so they've been in the freezer for a while now, so they are good to go. Next, you're gonna to wanna to cut up the pike into bite-sized pieces or pieces that you might wanna put on a cracker, and then they need to brine for 12 hours. So if you're making this recipe, just make sure you account for that 12 hours of brining. The brine solution per pound of northern pike that you're going to make is four cups of water and one cup of salt. And you simply heat those up to allow the salt to dissolve into the water, and then pour it over your pike fillets and let it sit for at least 12 hours in the fridge. After we've pulled this out of the fridge after 12 hours, we want to rinse them off really good so there's no more brine and no more salt on the fillet pieces. And then we can go ahead and start making the pickling solution. Per pound of pike, the pickling solution is going to call for two cups of apple cider vinegar, one cup of water, a third cup of sugar, two teaspoons of pickling spice, two bay leaves, and then into the jars we're going to put slices of red onion as well as peel from a lemon. In order to make the pickling solution, we're just gonna combine the apple cider vinegar, water, sugar, pickling spice, and bay leaves into a pot, bring it to a boil, and then let it cool down. So now that we brought the pickling solution to a simmer for five minutes, we need to let it cool down before we can pour it into the jars. In the meantime, we can start putting the pike in the jars and slice up the red onion and lemon to go in there as well. While the pickling solution is still cooling, we can start filling our jars with pieces of pike a couple pieces of red onion, a piece of lemon peel, and then I still have some bay leaves left over. I might put one in each jar as well. Now that we've let the pickling solution cool, we're just going to pour it into the jars with the pike, lemon, and red onion. And then we're gonna put these in the fridge and you do wanna let them sit for seven to 10 days to fully pickle and just soak in all the flavors before you open one to eat. And then they are good in the fridge for four to six weeks. So it doesn't take very long, it's as simple as that. It doesn't take very many ingredients. Uh, again, these will be ready in seven to 10 days and then good for about four to six weeks uh, need to be kept in the fridge. Uh, and thanks Hank Shaw for the recipe that we borrowed. We'll put it up here uh, as well as our website. <laughs>